Hi friends, it's Roxy, back again with another video. Today I will be showing you how to get Ghost to use in Avagachi. Well, it's my method anyway. There are a lot of methods that are valid, so if you do have access to Binance or Gate.io, you can skip a lot of these steps and I'll let you know what those are. You're lucky. But if you're like me, not having a lot of access to the exchanges that would make things more efficient, this tutorial is for you. All right, so first we start with Coinbase. In the US or New York, Coinbase is about the only way to get money into crypto from your bank. If you're getting money from your bank to trade with whatever bank account you've got, you add cash here. If you buy any crypto with your bank right from the US dollar, it will charge you a fee of about three or four dollars. And as you can see, all my money is in Loopring right now. My journey with Loopring started around here. I can't remember, somewhere along here. I put in $100 and then in a few days, it became $200. I decided to put in 200 more dollars into Loopring to see how it would perform. Then it produced another $100 on top of that. Luckily, I cashed out about $100 from that. But then my dumbass was like, all in the loop ring, full speed ahead. Here at about 3.35. And then now I'm down about 200 and some dollars. So now I'm going to get a hundred dollars from loop ring to put right into Avagachi for the sake of this video. Full speed ahead. And to transfer money from Coinbase, into Avagachi, first you will need a KuCoin account. The reason you don't just send to your MetaMask directly from your Coinbase account, you might think that you can just type in, you know, Matic after swapping to Matic and then just send it right to your MetaMask wallet by copying this, pasting this, but I'm telling you guys, that is not the way to go because Coinbase doesn't send to Polygon right now. It only sends to the Ethereum mainnet. So what you would have to do is get a bridge to bridge it over from your Ethereum mainnet to your Polygon mainnet. If you do that, you're subject to gas fees from the Ethereum blockchain and I know everyone hates those, so. <laughs> Select all the tractors. I have to do this every time. And look at my fraction of a cent I've got on here. Isn't it lovely? It just dropped to 19. Stop it! Stop it, Loop Roy! Yeah. Now I'm going to exchange this on Coinbase before I send it out. I will trade it for Bitcoin. Only because I'm pretty sure that the withdrawal fees from Coinbase for Bitcoin are cheaper than for Matic. Last time I checked, the withdrawal fee to withdraw Matic was like 15, 20 bucks for like $100. And Bitcoin was only a fraction of that. But we'll see what it is now. Yeah, so now I'm going to convert Loopring to Bitcoin. $100 worth. So let's do a preview convert. Convert now. My order was submitted. Aha, there it is. Now let us withdraw this fresh new Bitcoin we just got right into KuCoin. And to do that, we click on withdraw. No, not withdraw, deposit, my bad. Bitcoin. It'll give us the copyable wallet address. We go back into Coinbase, uh, send, receive, sending. Okay, paste this. Okay, yeah, it is so volatile that it's hard to pin down the exact amount. Let's just make sure wallet address matches the first and last digits. Yep, it looks good. It takes about 30 minutes. Let's calculate this fee. Coinbase fee for withdrawing is zero Bitcoin. Network fee, coin this. So yeah, it's really not a lot, okay guys? 80, send now. Two-step verification for my app. 316120 is my temporary code here. Your send failed. Ah, it went down below 9980. Jesus, okay. Let's just do 9950. 
Okay, I sent over 99.50. Now we wait. The price of Bitcoin may go down in that time. As you can see guys, the price of Bitcoin is on a downtrend in the last hour. So I probably will lose a little bit of money doing this. All right guys, the transaction has finally gone through. So now we received it on here on KuCoin. We can go to assets overview and I can see the 100 and some dollars in Bitcoin. It's in the main account. And I am lucky about that because after the downtrend, it turned back into an uptrend right after I hit send it didn't lose anything at all in fact it gained some money which is really nice it's always nice when that happens so now i can transfer this from the main account to the trading account so now it's here in my trading account and from the trading account i can trade it now i put in my six digit trading password now we want bitcoin matic no <laughs> Oh my gosh. Now we go to market. You always want to trade the market. That way it'll go through immediately. You want to buy Matic using the Bitcoin. And right now we'll do 100% buy Matic. And I have placed the order successfully. Now I can go back to my assets. I have 99.76. So now we transfer it back into our main account. Click on Matic. Oh, we want the max matic transferred. You want to withdraw it from your MetaMask and you want it to go on the Polygon mainnet, not the Ethereum mainnet. So make sure you have your MetaMask set up for Polygon. I'll provide a link in the description on how to do that. So now what we can do is we can go to withdraw. So now we put in our wallet address. So you copy your address. Paste it in there and then drop down. The service is currently unavailable. What? I'm so confused. All right, guys. Yeah, I just found this article. It says that this deposit and withdrawal services of mainnet polygon tokens are is temporarily closed. And this was just announced yesterday on the 5th. It says due to the node maintenance, we have decided to suspend the deposit and withdrawal services for mainnet Matic tokens. If I were able to withdraw this from KuCoin, the fee would be one Matic coin. You know, if you had Binance or Gate.io, you would just be able to get your money from your bank, flip it for Matic, and just send it to MetaMask. All that run around with buying Bitcoin and then sending the Bitcoin from Coinbase to KuCoin, flipping it to the trading account and then the main account. You wouldn't have to go through all that. And it takes 30 minutes, it says right here, with about 30 minutes, but just like when I had to withdraw from Coinbase to KuCoin, it does vary. But anyway, let's say you did receive your Matic. I can just use this matic that i already have here for the rest of the video huh sorry guys a uh, guy had to come in and paint my wall real quick so once you have your matic you can come over here to switch uh <laughs> switch up <laughs> quick swap dot exchange now you can put in however much you want and swap it to ghost 3.9 and then press swap it'll ask you to confirm the swap again now confirm and it should say the transaction right here so you can view it on here if you know if it's taken a while and you want to see it on the interface on polygon scan so in your assets you should see the ghost once you have your metamask set up for the ghost there will be a link for that too in the description now you can waltz on over to avagachi and now you'll see it in here on avagachi.com or you can go on the bazaar and use it on the bazaar you can buy anything your balance will be up here that's how you do it guys soon everyone will be able to do it just with one click i told i do believe that it's not quite there yet because you and I were early. 
So that's why every day in the crypto space, people are improving it and improving it, coming up with better ideas, more updates. All the exchanges and NFTs, games, and developers, and the front ends, and the back ends. And... <laughs> it's just, you know, it's coming into fruition. I got a lot of hopium, I know. <laughs> I hope this video was very helpful for you. Please remember that if you liked this video, it would mean a lot to me if you liked and subscribed. See you later, friends!